Hi everyone, I'm Dana Ponsky and welcome to Being Jewish in College's video series, Kibbutz in 10 Minutes. Today, you're gonna to get 10 minutes of valuable information from Sophie Liner, the Engagement Associate at Hillel at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Welcome Sophie, it's great to have you. Thanks for having me. No problem. So to kick off, as always, my first question is, what is the name of the Jewish Center on campus? We are the Barbara Hochberg Center for Jewish Student Life. Awesome. Um, so this is always not the easiest question to, because there's, it's not easy to collect, but how many Jewish students um, do you have on campus? And in particular, what would be the breakdown amongst reform, conservative, orthodox, secular, uh, humanist, reconstructionist, or any identifier that our very diverse community um, might use? Yeah, uh, so we estimate around 4,200 Jewish undergrads and maybe a few hundred uh, grad students, um, mostly reform and conservative students. There have been more Orthodox students in previous years, but currently we sort of skew uh, reform and conservative. Um, you know, we have students who were active in youth groups, NIFTY, BBYO, USY, went to all sorts of Jewish camps. And we also have students who did gap years in Israel. Uh, we also have students who are just discovering their own Jewish identity. So it's a really diverse and active community here. Wonderful. Um, so can you talk a little bit about food? It's an important thing for most people. Um, are there kosher food options available to students? And if so, what are they? Yes, totally. Um, so we have our own little cafe at, in the Hillel building um, called Adama. Um, you can pay with regular you know, credit card. You can also use uh, students like Red Card, which is the university's flex dollars. Um, we offer free Shabbat dinner every Friday night, as well as holiday meals and lunches for high holidays for Passover. Um, and then there are also there also are um, kosher food options available a la carte in the dining halls. Um, are there you've kind of mentioned this already, but are there weekly Shabbat dinner or gathering opportunities? Yeah, so every week we have reform and conservative services that are all student led and well attended. I think we have a minion in both services almost every single week. Um, and we offer a free Shabbat dinner to all students after that every single Friday. Um, we'll do themed Shabbats, Israel Shabbat, Greek life Shabbats. Um, last semester, we had a totally wonderful um, all student led criminal justice Shabbat, which was wonderful. Um, and we also have a once a month Saturday morning minion, which is also student led and they come to the building and have services and a little kiddish lunch for themselves. So we offer a really wide variety of Shabbat practices for people. Wonderful. Um, so thinking about just throughout the entire year, what is some of the most popular or well-attended programs that you have on campus um, for students? Yeah, um, I think our high holiday programming and welcome back barbecue are really well attended um, in the beginning of each semester. We do a ton of big social stuff, like we have a big Hanukkah party, we do Passover seders. Um, we also have things like hamantaschen making and latke making where we go into students' dorms. Um, and do stuff like that for them. Uh, we also do holibrating every single week, which is really well attended. We offer learning classes that are wonderful. It's called JLF, you know, classes about life's big questions, social justice, Israel. Um, I would say also our birthright trips are really well attended. We'll be sending multiple buses this summer, hopefully. Um, and one of the great things I think about us is that, you know, if you want to have big programming, we're gonna have big programming. And if you want a smaller, more intimate environment, we can offer them as well. Wonderful. Um, so talking a little bit more from like an academic side, and you sort of actually brought this up, but are there any Jewish studies majors and minors um, or Hebrew language courses uh, that are available to students? Yeah, definitely. So this campus has the Mossy Weinstein Center for Jewish Studies. Um, it's a really, really wonderful program that offers both, I believe, a BS and a BA in Jewish studies, as well as a certificate, which is Wisconsin's version of a minor. Um, they offer Hebrew language classes, one of the most popular classes that I find students really enjoy is called Jewish Humor, um, which is really fun. And also here at Wisconsin, we have the Myrant Institute for Yiddish Culture, which is really, really unique. Um, and there's a repository of more than like 9,000 historical recordings of Yiddish music. So it's a really unique, unique opportunity for students to, to learn about Yiddish culture here. That's awesome. Um, so flipping question again is thinking about the political and social justice climate on campus, particularly around topics like BDS or anti-Semitism or Zion, anti-Zionism. Can you talk a little bit about if there have been issues, how has the university, particularly its administration, kind of handled 
those issues and you know what resources are available to students if they do come upon issues surrounding those topics. Yeah, um, we're really fortunate in that we haven't really faced systemic anti-Semitism in a really long time. I believe six years ago, there was a BDS resolution that did not pass. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, there's no real barrier to Jewish students being able to participate in any aspect of student life. There's Jewish students in all branches of ASM, which is the student government here in every club, every team, every Greek house. Um, so, you know, we, we work really closely with the university to combat problems that do arise. Like this year, we went to house fellow training. So all the RAs who are the older students in the dorms um, as part of their training, uh, we you know, learned about ways to recognize anti-Semitism and how Jewish students might be feeling when holidays conflict or when incidences do happen. Um, and every once in a while, we'll have a minor incident, uh, but the university recognizes the problems that exist um and works with us to figure them out and i think more importantly to provide education so that those kinds of things don't happen again but i think there's there's really no barrier for students being able to participate in in student life fully okay great um what challenges if any might a jewish student face when they get onto campus um i think a challenge is that sometimes you might be the first jew that someone meets um we have students from all over the country and all over the world where they're might not be a large Jewish community or even a Jewish community at all. Um, you might get some questions you've never had to answer before, but it all comes from a place of curiosity. And we always say, if you have a roommate or a friend or someone who doesn't know much about Judaism, bring them to Shabbat dinner, bring them to our Hanukkah party, let them see uh, what we do really um, uh, for, their, uh, for themselves. Um, something else, students from warmer climates always ask us about the weather here. It can definitely be a challenge. It is the Midwest, it does get cold. Um, if you have the right gear, you will be just fine. There's also a bus system that runs and students get a free bus pass. So you can take the 80 all around campus. So you don't have to be so cold. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so what's one interesting piece of information about the University of Wisconsin-Madison that you would want people to know? Uh, um, I saw a fact recently that was one in every like 790 living Americans has at least one degree from UW-Madison. Um, so we have a really diverse and connected alumni system. So you'll find people who wanna support you in your career and in your journey once you're, once you're done here, which is really incredible. And also we're actually the second oldest Hillel. Um, and in 2024, it's gonna be our hundredth anniversary. So that's really exciting. Oh, mazel. That's Thank awesome. you. <laughs> Um, okay, so finally, what do you love most about working with the Jewish community at the University of Wisconsin-Madison? I think my favorite thing about the Jewish community here is just the diversity of students. We have people from everywhere who practice everything and really crave a broad range of programming. So, you know, from Israeli cooking class to learning about monsters and Yiddish lore, to mock bar mitzvahs, to food drives, to challah baking. Really, it's so fun to get to work with students who are so curious and open and, and really want to build their own unique, like, Jewish future. Wonderful. Well, those are the 10 questions. That was fantastic. So thank you so much for participating. And we're looking forward to sharing information about the University of Wisconsin-Madison's Hillel and how students can learn more about, even more, um, beyond this video. We'll provide information to everybody about how to get in touch with your office. But thank you so much again for participating. We really appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. All right. Thanks, everyone.